you came. Yes. Have I ever done otherwise, General Krang? You should know by now, I plan for all contingencies, Shredder. Can I assume that you are prepared for what comes next? All is in order, General. Excellent. Shall we begin, then? Indeed. This is bad, guys. I mean, like, really, really bad. I've never seen anything like it. It's the same thing all over the city. Crime levels are spiking like crazy. It would appear our old adversaries are once again engaged in mischief. I'm not sure if mischief is how I describe something this ambitious, Father. You are right, Donatello. Whatever their motive, we are honor-bound to intercede, my sons. But we must do so with the utmost caution. As always, our enemies remain dangerous and unpredictable. Yeah, well, they ain't the only ones. Speaking of unpredictable, where's Mikey? Right here, dude. Just found some leftover pie in the fridge that I am honor-bound to scarf down before we head out. Honor-bound? Oh, for crying out... It's just pizza, Mike. Let's go! Mm, such noble pepperoni. Such moral mozzarella. Dudes, check it out. It's the foot. What the heck are those foot losers doing here? Last I checked, this was those purple dragon losers' turf. <laughs> losers. As much as I prefer to use my head, my gut's screaming that this is just a precursor to something larger. And my gut's screaming that it's time for an extra large with anchovies and sausage. Forget it, Mikey. We need to find out what the foot are up to. Let's move. Okay. Maybe just anchovies? <laughs> Yo, Bebop! Let me in on the fight! Be my guest, pal. <laughs> you green tweeds think you got the best of old Bebop, do you? We well, are all wrong. Cause Bebop's the best there is! Piggy ran way, way, way. All the way home. Yeah, but he dropped something on the way. What is it, Don? Cash, and lots of it. But why rob a bank just to leave the money behind? Yeah, no kidding. Imagine what someone could do with all that loot. Hello? Rupert's Pizzeria? Yeah, I'd like to order 2,000 extra large cheese and pepperoni specials and 5,000 orders of breadsticks for pickup, please. Never mind, dude. Wrong number. You were right, Sensei. The foot are involved in the crime spike. We ran into them right here. Not exactly where we normally expect to find them operating. Mm. There's nothing normal about this, Leo. Yeah, we're picking up reports from all over the city. It's crazy up there. Crazier than normal, you mean. Yo, Mikey, that pizza almost warmed up or what? Come on. Ain't like we got all stinking night. Patience, dude. Wise men say, you can't rush perfection. Um, it's a microwave, dweeb. If Shredder is indeed initiating a full-scale assault against the city, we are already at a disadvantage. We must meet his overwhelming numbers with stealth and cunning. 
And we're gonna have to dig deeper to find out exactly what we're up against. Yeah, dig deeper and hit harder. Speaking of digging in, here it is. Nuked for our noshing nourishment. About time. Looks great, Mikey. I'm starving. So good. Thank you, my son. I told you, perfection. I'm an artiste, the Michelangelo of pizza. I'm... Wait a minute. Okay, guys, time to go. We've got bad guys to hunt. But I... You can have more pizza later, Mikey. More? Father? Wise man say, you snooze, you lose. Man, I totally hate wise men. Dude! It's one of the subway switch boxes. If the foot did this, they weren't using conventional weapons. No way a sword could cause this kind of damage. April, are you getting this? Yeah. And I'm picking up reports of destroyed switch boxes all throughout the subway system. Someone's deliberately sending the trains out of control. All right, guys. Time to get to work. Yeah, work. Dude. Say your prayers, turtles. Use a corner, shell brains. Sorry about spoiling your fun, Horn Dome. But ain't you a little too big to be playing with trains? Fun? Ha! You stupid turtles ain't seen nothing yet. Nah, chumps. The fun's just getting started. <laughs> Just like a cute magician's bunny. Except, you know, he's a big, ugly, psychopathic rhino, dude. What did the big psycho mean by just getting started? No time for that now. We've got our own train to catch. <laughs> I love the sewers. It's the stench that just keeps on giving. It looks like the alarm sensors I set up are picking up some strange movements all throughout the sewer system. They're pinging like crazy everywhere. I really don't like the idea of Shredhead's little psycho army messing around as close to home. Protecting the lair from the foot's the least of our concerns, Rap. This section of the sewer is Slash's territory. And we all know the big guy doesn't like visitors. Any visitors. Eh, no biggie. What's the worst that could happen? King's turf now. Whoa, whoa, dude! It's cool! We weren't trying to crash your crib. We were just trying to stop those foot dudes. That's all. Foot bag. Yep, totally bad. And we're the good guys, see? So, how about a big guy? You know what those foot dweebs were doing? Yes, foot was sneaking. Space gun. Did he say space guns? <clears throat> Slash tire. Go night night now. Space.
space guns? Were you able to learn anything new, Leonardo? No, father. Nothing useful anyway. The only good thing is the police have ordered a mandatory curfew, so we aren't as exposed as we could be. Hopefully the eggheads will be able to figure out what the heck's going on. That's it! Guys, check this out. April and I have been doing a close analysis on all the data we've gathered so far, cross-referencing it against news reports and police dispatches we've intercepted, and we've come to a perplexing conclusion. This isn't just about crime. Say what now? We believe Shredder and Krang are teaming up for an invasion. An invasion? Like, from out of space? Maybe, we don't have specifics, but it definitely adds a dangerous new variable to the equation. Oh, crud. Cool. I rule at Space Invaders. No, it is very not cool, Michelangelo. I fear this may be too big for our family to handle. But you said it yourself, Father. We're honor-bound to do something about it. Whatever it is. Yeah, the cops got their hands full. It's up to us. We can't stop now. No. No, we cannot. We don't have a fix on Shredder or Krang's exact locations, but they are definitely operating from within the city somewhere. Well, it's the best lead we've got. We're just gonna have to keep on hunting until we track them down. And Master Splinter and I will continue to monitor things from this end while you do. scanners are picking up bomb threats all over the city. Their bomb squad is running ragged trying to defuse them, so it's up to us to take care of things there. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Quickly, that's how. The sensors are indicating this building has bombs planted throughout that could go off at any time. Why would the foot want to blow up unfinished skyscrapers? Because they're stupid idiots, that's why. But by any time, you don't mean, like, in the next ten minutes, do you, Donnie? Uh, yeah, Mikey, sure. We've got ten minutes at least. I hope. No offense, Donnie, but you totally suck at pep talks, dude. Pathetic monstrosities! Prepare yourselves! Even anticipate. Stand down, Karai. There's nowhere for you to go. Really? You may think you have won, mutant, but soon you and the entire city will fall. Whoa! Whoa. Look out! That jetpack was. Awesome! Awesome or not, it's definitely a serious escalation. Agreed. If we're gonna have any chance at saving the city, we need to get some answers. Fast. And jetpacks. Shut up, Mikey. Just saying. I just received intel from Casey, Donnie. He says the docks are covered with containers filled with some kind of strange tech. Casey tried to get a closer look, but was chased away by some nasty-looking guards. My best guess is they're transporting the tech to the docks via the sewer lines. Looks like the Foot and Krang are planning a full-scale war. Yo, that's fine by me. They want a war? We'll give them a war! Ha! Tribute to your 
future king. You have the oceans. I have the air. Deal? Who is this creature? And why doesn't he just use his wings? Well, well. Talk about a stupid fish out of water. Uh, have your little fun, fools. But know this. Armagan has been promised dominion over the oceans of this world. Soon you will all be history, and I will be a king! Run! He got away. How can he swim in that? Gross. Dominion over the oceans? Man, this thing just gets better and better. Maybe the tech in the containers is the key. April wasn't kidding when she said it was strange. It's not human tech. It looks alien. I'm gonna shoot a picture over to April to see what she makes of it. Check it out, bro. A nerd selfie. Look, there's another one. Eh, you sure that ain't just an asteroid or something, Donnie? April texted that there's been a bunch of UFO sightings in this area recently. In multiple reports of erratic behavior by the locals at the same time. Uh, Don, have you seen some of the jokers in this hood? I think erratic behavior is like a prerequisite to live here. Mouse, I'm gonna shove that fancy little spaceship down that jerk's throat. I thought General Krang had anger issues, but you, wow. And if you think this old tin can is fancy, you ain't seen nothing yet, twerps. <laughs> Encounters of the nerd kind. You gotta be kidding me. You mean to tell me we've been running all over the stinking city, putting out these little fires, while the real action's been in the most obvious place the whole time? I know it's hard to believe, Raph, but all the evidence points to it. Think about it, Raph. Slashes, space guns, wingnuts, UFOs, and the particle diffusion matrix Armagon was trying to smuggle through the sewers. The partition diffuser, what's it? Particle diffusion matrix. I did some research after Donnie sent me the picture and finally figured out what it was. Oh, we already know, April. A nerd selfie. Very funny. Actually, it turns out the diffusers used to de-interlace tachyon particles to create an interdimensional portal. I'm sorry I asked. Yeah. He totally lost me at actually. Well, all you really need to know is that there's only one place in town with the resources and equipment necessary to manipulate such sophisticated devices. TCRI. Yeah, TCRI. But if Krang and Shredhead got so much fancy tech, why do they need Rocksteady, Karai, and that pig brain Bebop running around smashing trains, blowing up buildings, and robbing banks? Diversions. They were creating havoc to keep us busy while Krang and Shredder were constructing their secret weapon. Well, a lot of good it does us knowing what their secret is. We've never been able to get inside TCRI before. What makes tonight any different? It's gonna have to be different. If they're really creating an interdimensional portal, 
There's no telling what kind of terror they could unleash on the city. So we don't let them. We'll find a way to get inside TCRI. One way or another. Okay, guys. Krang's on the top level. We need to move quickly, quietly, and carefully. Sheesh, Leo. You're starting to sound like Master Splinter now. No way, Raph. Master Splinter would totally say, My sons, always remember, we must endeavor to meet the enemy with speed, stealth, and... Leo's right. This place is bound to be wired to the max with surveillance and security devices. I bet they got some sick video games in here, too. What's wrong with Raph? He's ticked because we were duped again. There was no portal inside. Uh, guys, I've got some good news and some really, really bad news. The good news is I know where the portal is now. And the bad news? Is that a giant crane coming through a portal? In the sky? Okay, Donnie, how do we stop this? We're gonna have to get to higher elevation. It doesn't look like the portal's fully open yet. If we can get up high enough, we might be able to close it. Well, we ain't gonna reach him crawling through the sewers, that's for sure. Whatever you're gonna do, you need to do it fast. The police and military can't get past the Krang droids. You guys are on your own. Sorry, Earthlings, but all your base are belong to us. Knock it off, Mike. Sheesh. One little interdimensional invasion and everyone loses their sense of humor. Raphael, control yourself. Now may not be the time for jokes, but is also not the time to lose your discipline. No, now's the time for us to fix this. Christ, we barely beat Tiny Krang. How the heck are we supposed to stop a giant one in the freaking sky? Conventional weaponry's not gonna cut it. We're gonna need more firepower. Yeah, like lasers. Lots of lasers. And luck. Lots of luck. Seriously, like truckloads of it? A truck of luck. <laughs> do not know when to give up, do you? Pathetic mutants. Puny Earthlings, this is not the end. Revenge will be mine. Somehow, somewhere. Well, the big ugly mouse gone, but the big space hole ain't. What the? April, what's going on? I'm getting some disturbing readings here, Donnie. The portal's reacting to the TCRI building, and the electrical buildup is off the charts. It's like someone's deliberately creating the kind of energy pulse that could destroy the city. 
We've got to get up there and fast. April, this is just an educated guess. But is the control device somewhere on that heliport? Yes, and if the energy from the portal becomes saturated, the entire city will be wiped off the map. How much time do we have? Uh, I don't know. My sons, as perilous as this has become, we cannot stand by idly while innocents are at risk. Father's right. We've got to do something. Yeah. But what if we don't make it in time? Trust in your training and each other, my sons, and you will emerge victorious. Master Splinter's right. You can do this, guys. Okay, guys. If we're gonna do this, we need to get to the top of the building stack. A little penthouse punishment coming up. More like a rooftop rumble rap. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Who ever heard of heroes backing out right before the final boss, anyway? Right? Right! Shredder! Oh, man. This has gone from bad to worse. See? I told you his pep talks suck. Forget that, Mikey. We've got to figure out a way to stop him and close that portal, or the city's toast. That will be far easier said than done, Turtle. Observe. Signal to the world that I am not to be trifled with. Very soon, I will rule all. But first. This victory while you can, mutants. Your imminent destruction awaits. The controls have been disabled. And you are all... Doomed! Look out! He might have a sweet jetpack like Karai. I don't think so. Parachute? Nope. Good riddance. Guys, you know that thing Shredder said about the portal controls being disabled? Uh, we probably needed that still working, huh? Yep. My bad. Hurry, Donnie! Yeah, what's taking so long? The primary controls are history. I'm trying to hack into the redundant controls, but everything's encrypted. I just need a little more time. Now! Dudes, what's the only thing better than finding parachutes? Let me guess. Pizza? No. Jetpacks! Mikey, you're a genius! I know, dude. I know. Come on, Donnie, we're getting out of here. I can't. I haven't broken the code yet. The risk to civilians is too great if I don't stop this thing. I've got to keep trying. You guys go. No way, Don. If you stay, we stay. Yeah, no brother gets left behind. Man, now I wish I did find pizza instead. Please get out of there! What are you doing? What 
We're honor bound to do it. Save the city. And now, we're coming home. Donnie out. Do you think? Nah. Come on, let's go. I'm thinking it's officially pizza time. Back to the yeah, finally! I could eat a hundred by myself right now. Hey, do you think Bebop's giant money bag is still lying around? Mikey. Just kidding. But you gotta admit, 5,000 orders of breadsticks would totally rule. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, dudes and dudettes. Thank you for playing.